back. Today we're going to do a quick tying tips on starting your gel spun thread. Um, not in the sense of putting it around the hook saying you're getting a brand new spool of gel spun out of the pack um, and you're going to start tying. A while back I remember seeing a bunch of threads, um, threads on the internet, not threads, uh, of folks complaining about GSP and how they would ruin an entire pack of it because they would get, or they would ruin an entire spool of it because they would get, you know, 10, 15 flies through, whatever it may be, and then it winds up binding up on itself. Um, I've had it happen once or twice years back, uh, long before I learned this quick trick on this one. Not so much with the 200s or even the 100s. I never really had a big issue. The 75s and the 50s. The 50s I used for the dry flies, 75s for, you know, the uh, the bigger dry flies like my squalas or, or uh, you know, some stone flies, whatever it may be. Um, but the 50 I had an issue with. I mean, it, it's just what it is. I mean, that, that 50 stands for there's 50 individual strands in in each in the in that cord so with that being a smaller cord it's easier to lose track of one or two of them and what I used to do all the time was I would just pick this right off the side and then I would just unspool it and do a, about a length you know maybe an arm's length or whatever it may be but you can still get one of those fibers that's trapped in there and after a while that one fiber is going to cut into your thread core and it's gone you're, you're there's no um putting the toothpaste back in the tube at that point it it's it's shot i mean once that one fiber cuts through that cord there's no getting that spool back so in order to eliminate that possibility completely i'm going to show you the easiest trick in the world to do this and it'll save every single spool of gel spun, no matter if it's 50, 100, 200, whatever it may be. First thing you do on this, is you can see this one's brand new right out of the package. You take your sticker off. If you're one of these psychopaths that doesn't take your sticker off before you put it on your bobbin, then you deserve to have your stuff spooled and we get to laugh at you. There's just no need for that nonsense. So, you can see this right here. It's a pretty decent cord it looks like everything's good but there may be just one fiber right in there that you don't get out completely so in order to eliminate all of that possibility of one fiber getting stuck in there you just take your top off right there you take that green section off you look through here I still take about half of an arm's length and I just make sure that everything's clear I don't have anything stuck in here you can see this section right here, there's no thread, there's no nothing. I have all 50 strands sitting right there. And then what I do is I just put my top back on, click add into place, and then I throw it on my bobbin and everything's good to go. Haven't ruined the spool since. Um, if you're ruining spools, most likely um, what's going on is, is you're doing something wrong when you initially start that um, thread out. So. That one little step right there is going to save you, you know, I mean, these are not cheap threads. I mean, and for good reason. I mean, they're, they're, they're the best on the market. I've tried, I'm a UTC guy. I like the UTC better. I've tried the Vivas. Um, Vivas to me, it's stickier. I got used to how slick this stuff is. The Vivas is a little stickier to me, and it seems like, it's it's downsized for some reason like a 200 feels like a 100 in the UTC um, but I mean if you're a Vivas guy and that's what you're used to I mean by all means stick with it I mean I've tried it um, I can't do it but I just got used to this UTC so this is the stuff that I really gravitate toward but like I was saying I mean this stuff isn't cheap and for good reason it's it's a great quality thread um, I do everything on my streamers with it except maybe connecting you know the articulation wire and some some lead eyes every once in a while but everything on my streamers is done with this I mean you see me if I on some of the streamer videos I absolutely wrench down on my flies because I know the gel spun can handle it and especially when you get up to the 200 on the deer hair um, 
it's amazing what that stuff's able to do. I mean, you'll you'll pull a hook out of the vise before you even break that thread. Um, but like I was saying before, I got sidetracked there, just thinking a little bit further ahead of myself. But I mean, it's three, four bucks a spool, and if you go ruining one of those by not pulling all this stuff out, it, it's going to be frustrating, and I can see where it would get a bad name, but take that one quick step, just rip that green top off of there, inspect it, make sure there's not a single strand sitting back, hanging out, waiting to cut through the rest of it, and you'll be good to go. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions on anything um, similar to this or whatever, whatever may pop up. If you have any questions, shoot them to me and I'll address them too in a quick video. But thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next fly.